Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Programming Knowledge and in this video guys, we're going to be learning structures in C. So we're going to explore what is structures and how we could, you know, use structures inside our C program. So basically guys, when we say structure, it is a user, um, user defined data type. Um, it is used to store a collection of different kinds of data. So, in a sense, it could be something similar to an array. So, basically, it is like a collection. The only difference is that an array is used to store the same data types. So, in an array, if you want to save an integer value, so you have to make sure that all the elements of that particular array is also int or integer. And if you want to store double, so it should have double or it should, you know, contain all double um, elements. While if you want to use structure, you could declare multiple um, data type inside this particular collection so in order for us to use um, structure in C we're gonna be using this particular keyword struct okay so this is how we could create a structure in C programming so struct so variables inside the structure are called members of the structure Okay, so now let's try to define a structure in C. So, say for example, we want to um, try to declare a struct courses. So, all we have to do is specify the keyword struct. Okay, and then this is going to, you know, make sense later on if we want to access the members of this particular struct. So, for now, let's just stick to this. Um, struct is the keyword that we could use to, you know, declare or define a structure in C. So, again, that's the keyword struct, and then we could specify the structure name. So, this could be any, any name that you want. So, for example, we could name this courses. Okay. So, this particular courses... Uh, this will contain different variables, okay? So, as you can see here, we have added curly braces, opening and closing curly braces. And then, at the end of the closing curly brace, the semicolon, that signifies the end of this particular line, okay? And then, inside here, as I've said, we could have multiple variable type, okay? So, for example number one will be char or car and then we could name this for example website and then the length is 50 okay and then semicolon and another one car or char and then subject will be uh, the length 50 and then the last one will uh, the last one will be about price okay so as you can see here guys we have these truck courses and then it contains three different data types uh, of variables so we have here website with length 50 subject length 50 and then price which is uh, an int or, or of type int Okay, that's how easy for us to, you know, define a structure in C. Now, we could um, uh, access this, the struct courses, but basically, we need to move this outside of our main um, function. So, we have to move this. Well, I'll just have to cut and paste this. So it should be outside our main function because we're going to declare or I mean uh, access the struct from this main function right here. Okay. So you could think of this 
uh, if you are into um, object-oriented programming, you could think of this as a class for now. But um, this is different because um, this is a structure, which is a collection of, um, you know, different variables or different data types. But you could think of this as, you know, an object or a class for now. And then we could access this inside our main function. So in order for us to access that, we just need to specify the name of our uh, struct inside our main function. So all we have to do is use, again, the struct keyword like this. And then the name of the struct, which is courses. Okay. And then um, we could assign an alias to this. So for example, course or maybe C, a big letter C. Okay. Big letter C. Okay. And then semicolon. So that's how we could um, access this courses struct inside our main, main function. So all we have to do is like... Um, use the struct keyword and then the name of our struct which is courses and then assign assign an alias to this uh, struct okay and then after that one we could um, initialize perhaps our um, variables okay or members of this struct so all we have to do is we could say here initialization we could now access the members of the struct courses by using this alias. So initialization, for example, um, str copy. Okay, so I believe I I have already um, showed you how you could um, assign a value to a string because we're gonna be assigning value to this website. So this is a string collection of um, characters. So str cpy, and then we're going to say here c, and then website. So as you can see here, we have the access to all the members of the courses struct. So we're going to use the website first, and then we're going to assign a value here. For example, um, triple w programming knowledge something like that so basically what we're doing here um, dot com we're just doing here is um, we're just getting the website um, member and then assign a value to that which is the triple w dot programming knowledge dot com and after this we could you know access the this value by using this member of struct so later on we will try that but for now let's just move to the next member so again we're going to use str copy str cpy and then now we're going to use the subject subject so the sub the subject will be introduction to C programming so that will be the subject for this particular course so again we're just doing here um, we're just getting the subject member of our struct and then assign a value to that which is this string introduction to C programming Okay, and of course the other one or the last one will be the price. So what we do here is use the C alias that and then price and then we could assign a value here. For example, we want to um, specify a value or a price here like $15 or something. And then... After that, after initialization, of course, we can use the, these values right here. So all, all we have to do is we could say here print. So we could use printf statement. And then we could say here website. Percent um, semicolon r colon. And then percent s. 
and then we're going to add new line here comma and then the member of our struct so c dot and then website okay and then semicolon at the end so we're going to do the same for the other members so uh, the next one is the subject so percent s and then backslash n and then we're going to access the subject member of struct and then the last one will be printf i mean the price so price we're going to do the same here percent um d that's the format specifier for our uh, integer values so c that price okay and then semicolon at the end of this line to denote that this ends with this semicolon okay so now let's try this let's uh build and run our program and we are uh, we're having an error here error expected because expected that's because um we didn't uh, we did not add the semicolon here okay rookie mistake build and run and as you can see here we now have the values displayed here in our console so the website is www.programming.com and then subject is introduction to c programming and the price is 15 dollars so that's how easy for us to use struct in c and then we could you know make this um collection of different variables um, and then we could assign values initialize and then we could also change if you want to change the values after initialization and then after that we could display the values or the actual values of the members of our struct okay so i think that's it for this tutorial guys and i do hope that you learn something from this tutorial and um, if you have questions please let us know in the comment section where we will try to answer your your um, queries so again that's all uh, there is to it in this tutorial and thank you for watching